I'm either very, very French or very, very Haitian or just a very bad combination of these two. It really depends on the day. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I've decided to do a get to know me tag. And um, I mixed it up with a couple of questions that I found on the internet and also i posted on my ig story what kind of questions you guys want me to answer in this video and if you're still not following me on instagram i don't know what's up with you but you have to do it okay follow me and tell your friend to follow me thank you okay so first question um why is your name so long whatever you know it's whatever how rude Okay, so first of all, my name is really not that long. Uh, have you seen Lady Gaga's name? Okay, uh, Rihanna's name? Thank you. My name is really not that long. And also, I'm Haitian, so please blame that on my parents. Thank you. Period. Next question. Do you have a man? How's quarantine treating you? A man? What's a man? I don't know what a man is. <laughs> No, I am very, very, very single, unfortunately. But that's because I'm waiting for my husband, who I have already found, but he just doesn't know my existence yet. So if anyone can tell Mad Cam to reach out to me so we can actually sort this marriage down, that would be great. Because he needs to know that we're married and that we have triplets together. And um, when it comes to quarantine, um, I mean, there are days that I'm really glad I'm by myself. Like, I like to think that I'm kind of a, I'm not an introvert, but what's that? What's that word in between extrovert and introvert? Uh, I have a blank. It'll probably come back to me. Otherwise, I'll just put it at the bottom. But there are days that I'm fine with having no one around me. Like, I'm okay to just being staying in my bed. It don't do anything all day. But there are days that I feel like I want to go see my friends. I want to wear a really nice dress. I want to wear makeup and walk outside. Like, I want to be social again. So, it has been very difficult, especially since I've been working from home since March 13th. And we are May 13th. So, yeah, I really need to socialize. Like, I think I'm due to socialize, especially on this date because it's my birthday. Why does size matter to you and how big is too big? Like, I don't like that. Like, I don't like it, okay? Um, excuse me, sir. Like, what kind... What kind of question is that? Like, what kind of channel do you think this is? This isn't poured up. This is YouTube. God damn. Um, why did it take you so long to be on YouTube? Um, honestly, um, I blame it on laziness, right? I don't think you guys understand, like, but doing YouTube takes time. Just filming, finding concept. I'm um, creating content in general, then editing and knowing me, I'm such a perfectionist and everything has to be <sighs> on point and I'm very meticulous. So if I don't like something, then I redo it again and redo it again and redo it again until it meets my criteria. And also another reason why it took me so long to actually put me up, put myself out there on YouTube is that I'm kind of not that i'm scared but i'm just i don't know like people can be so mean on the internet like i don't know i just don't want to be like being a target or anything like that not that i don't take criticism well it's just like i think it's the fear of being judged or anything like that um which i know is odd because i'm an actress so i shouldn't care that much but when i'm on set and i play a character I play a character it's not me at the end of the day so if people didn't like how I portrayed a character I don't care but people criticizing 
let's say the way that I speak or my accent or just the way that I look I mean I do feel some type of way and I think me putting myself out there is actually gonna help me build a thicker skin that I actually need in case that I actually make it big and go to Hollywood but yeah I think um, the fear of being judged is the main reason why it kind of took me um, so long to really put myself out there. I did posted two videos, one in 2017 and one in 2018. I made those uh, videos uh, private now so <laughs> nobody will ever see them. But I just felt at the time like I wasn't doing YouTube right and also I had so much going on at the time. I just felt like I didn't have time for YouTube per se. But now it's 2020 and I'm stuck in quarantine and self-isolation so might as well doing youtube videos but yeah so that was the main reason why um it took me so long to be on youtube and just being here doing this video and posting it i guess it's a first step in the right direction next question um when am i going to take you out on a date Next question. How are you this fabulous? I know who sent this to me. And I love you. I don't know. I guess having a really nice wig and taking the time to make my makeup makes me look fabulous. Because without those two things, I don't look fabulous at all. What is the first thing you're going to do when quarantine is over? Girl. I'm going to get a wax, a pedi, a mani. I'm going to go for a facial. I'm going to go on a massage retreat or whatever that is where I need to leave Toronto for a couple of days and really do me. I'm going to go shopping. I'm going to try to go to Miami. And Best life. And I'm going to try to get some dick. Next question. Um, where would you like to travel next? Well, I was supposed to catch a flight from Miami this Friday, but with Corona, it's not going to happen. So I would really like to go somewhere warm. Um, maybe not miami because with everything that's going on in the united states right now i don't think i would be comfortable going to the united states especially down south hmm. so i think i would like to go like in the bahamas or maybe go back to mexico because oh my god <sighs> last time i was in mexico was in january and girl it was a fun trip i really really need to go back i had so much fun and the food was so good but yeah definitely some somewhere really really warm and sunny now next question is why are you single i don't know i was god honestly i really don't know i think i'm a catch personally i i got a good credit i have a job right um, I have my own place. Well, I rent this place, but I'm in the process of getting my own place. I mean, I think I'm funny. You know, like, I'm smart. I'm cute and everything. I really don't understand why I'm still single, sis. I really don't. Play me a man. Better call Matt Camp. He really needs to reach out to me. Like, it's been a while. It's been a while. Where are you from? Montrealais Collins! Born and raised in Montreal, and uh, my parents are both from Haiti. Um, I speak French and English. Oh, and Asian Creole. Well, my Creole is a bit maloup, but I'm very, very Haitian. So, yeah. Why did you move to Toronto? I know who sent me this question, and I so basically the main reason why i moved to toronto was because i wanted to pursue my acting career um i was 25 years old and i just felt like montreal was not the place for me to pursue acting for different reason but mostly because um if you're black in french you're probably gonna be playing the same stereotypical black um character and that's something that I didn't want to do. So 
and also i felt like i really wanted to open more doors for me by acting in english so i figured that toronto would be um the best place for me to do so um so far so good um this september it's gonna be my fifth anniversary since i moved here and um so far so good in my acting career you know like any actor i had some ups and downs but my agent always had my back and she's like the sweetest person on earth and chloe if you're watching thank you for always having my back and for being my number one supporter and look at me i'm on youtube sis i'm doing my thing i'm putting myself out there so you can come back to me and say that i don't do nothing thank you hey okay, next question where did you grow up i just said it montreal come on people uh who is your best friend i don't have a best friend i have sisters so i have a couple of good friends that i can count on both of my hands um when i was younger i always wanted to have like a clique you know a group of girls that i would grow old with and um, then i realized that life is not like in sex in the city so um people are not always nice so high school and mostly elementary and high school were not really the best years for me when it came to friendship um especially high school because i went to an all girl school and trust me girls are really mean to each other like i still have some nightmares about some stuff that i went through because of them but most it's i want to say that in college that it's when i actually met the friends that i have right now and also met friends here when i moved in toronto that i'm still very close to but the ones that I actually um, speak on a daily basis are the ones that I went to Dawson College with and uh, to McGill University and Concordia University. So, yeah, so I have, I want to say seven friends that I can count as my besties slash sisters. How tall are you? I'm very tall. I'm very a tall five foot three mm-hmm very very tall and five five on a very good wig day you best believe that dogs or cats definitely dogs i can't stand cats like they are the devil worshiper i'm sorry but every time i see a cat i think of a witch and i think of the devil and ooh. what year were you born i'm a 1990 baby are you in or have you gone to college yes i've gone to college what is your favorite drink <laughs> what don't i like to drink um i love anything that's rosé and bubbly how about that what is your spirit animal and why um i don't know if that counts but i would like to say that <laughs> stanley from the office is definitely my spirit animal because he does not mess around with people he doesn't give a shit about bullshit he minds his own business and it's literally me every day at work at the office like i'm just like I actually do miss going to the office just to judge people i'm not even kidding i'm very petty i'm sorry <laughs> tea or coffee definitely tea because i am allergic to caffeine your life goals my life goal would be to be able to hmm. my goal would be to finally finally be able to say that i was able to achieve everything that i wanted to achieve in life meaning having a successful career a great marriage great kids and um, being financially stable that would be my ultimate life goal what sports do i play or have i played um i play soccer and i used to play volleyball in high school and badminton if that even counts as a sport what is your favorite movie oh wow there are way too many movies that i love um i'm mostly drawn to movies from the 50s and 60s so anything with um grace kelly audrey epburn and dorothy dendridge who are your favorite youtubers 
wow so i watch youtube but i don't watch youtube like there are a lot of people that i know that are out there that have like millions and millions of subscribers and honestly these people i have never heard of them like at some point i actually had to google who jacqueline hill was and who started saying sisters all the time because i had no idea who these people were but that is because when i'm on youtube i mostly only watch people that no shade but looks like me meaning black women um i'm sorry but for me and i'm saying this from me but i don't see the point of watching a white woman doing makeup and teaching me how to do makeup especially if she uses products that i know that were, were on my skin or are not made for my skin tone so yeah so basically when i'm on youtube i mostly watch jackie aina the queen jackie aina and i will not sing her song because i'm not gonna disrespect her like that not today um so jackie aina makeup shella um, Andrea Renee um, there are other few oh face over matter she is so pretty and I just love how she's so connected with her faith and and she's not ashamed to say that she's a proud Christian and stuff like that so yeah um, there are mainly the ones that I watch but there are other couple um, youtubers that I do watch I just I don't have their names um, on top of my head right now do you speak any languages and how well so i speak french english and um, haitian creole uh i kind of understand a little bit of spanish and italian um my spanish and italian used to be good because i uh, used to study those two languages back in college and um university and then i stopped practicing so my speaking is really really bad but i will be able to catch on some specific sentences and everything and one of the things that i started doing is watching some of these some shows that are actually spanish made i watched them in the original um language and i'll just have um english or french subtitles um, on them um definitely one of my favorite shows to watch in spanish is la casa de papel because a professor is everything everything i swear to god if you haven't watched like i said the papel i don't know what you're doing with your life because it's honestly one of the best shows on netflix right now like bruh just go in like i said the papel watch it you're gonna love it best believe that what's your idea of your dream date well it would be me and matt camp on a picnic <sighs> with a bottle of champagne strawberries covered chocolate i'm sorry that was my dream i have to go back to reality but i'd say that my ideal date would be well my dream date would be um something very casual like i don't like it when guys think that they have to go over the top on the first date and take me out to dinner and stuff like that even though i like to dress up for my man i just feel like for the first date especially a, so we can go well just be you know very casual we can go for grab a little bite to eat or even go for a walk or watch a movie for me that's the ideal date but if we're dating dating for a while and you want to like fancy me up oh honey honey okay dream date would include like a weekend getaway somewhere in a cottage in muskoka or something like that right like a couple's massage you know and a bubble bath with like rose petals everywhere candles everywhere chocolate on the bed everywhere you know really romantic cheesy stuff and i think what makes a dream date and dream date is being with the person that you love so no matter what you guys are doing as long as you're with the person that you're sharing it with then that would be your dream date so yeah you see i'm not too completed guys like future husband i know you're watching me right now take notes take notes 
cute by the way i love expensive things just in case you haven't noticed mm -hmm. um how long was your longest relationship uh seven months how would you describe your fashion sense i want to say that my fashion sense varies on a daily basis um there are days where i can be like super casual and the other day you'd think that i'm blair waldorf like i have a headband on and i'm like super preppy and everything like that fun fact i used to dress like that a lot and then my brother actually nick nick nicknamed me the black waldorf which is um the name of my blog and it was around that time that i actually started blogging under that nickname and originally my um, youtube channel used to be called the black waldorf so definitely a mix of preppy slash urban twist i want to say like there you could see me like wearing like a bombing blazer with jeans and cat sneakers and a cute little Louis Vuitton bag that my fashion sense is um mostly modern chic with a twist of urban in it yeah what is your go-to hairstyle any wig that i can actually put my hands on i don't have a go-to hairstyle honestly what is your go-to fast food order oh that's easy trio big mac with barbecue sauce on the side <sighs> big mac um do you have any bad habits yes i do sometimes i do not take my time to speak so i speak very very, very fast and then i just drop all my words and i don't know what i'm saying and it's something that i really need to learn how to control by doing breathing exercises and listening to my breathing and make sure that i'm not overwhelming anyone that i'm talking to which is probably something that i'm doing right now but i'm aware of it and i'm gonna rectify it i'm gonna talk slowly now <laughs> one thing about you that we wouldn't know <laughs> nice try who is your hero easy beyonce hello if you could live anywhere where would it be somewhere on an exotic island definitely what is your biggest fear to die alone yeah that's my biggest fear to die alone what would you change about yourself if you could For the longest time, I wanted to change my appearance, even though I'm against plastic surgery. And that is mostly because, um, well, I think it's pretty obvious. Maybe not because I contoured my face and I have makeup on, but mostly when I smile, you see it. I don't have a very symmetrical face. Uh, my face is symmetrical, so you'll see that I have one side of my face that is more prone no more um i don't know how do you say that but just seeing my face you see what i'm saying like especially when i smile like there's there's a side i think this one here like my cheek is more pronounced and it's just out there and um i know there's surgery for that but i don't think that i will go that far because i keep telling to myself if god made me that way there's a reason for it so I would just suck it up but if there would be one thing that I would change would be to have better health that would be it and um, oh no that's a lie I want uh, to I would like to have uh, to reconstruct my jaw because I have a lot of problems with my jaw here because I grind my teeth when I sleep at night and it really hurts like especially right now like here it's just is very sensitive and i get really bad headaches because of that so that's something that i have to look into but yeah that would be um the main thing that i would change and what is your proudest accomplishment um losing 60 pounds back in 2013 that was my biggest achievement like i was just so motivated and I was training on a very strict schedule. Like I would wake up every day at five in the morning, go to the gym before going to class. 
I had a very strict diet and um oh yeah I would post pictures of me before of what I used to look like and um that's something I'm trying to go back to I'm trying to go into you know a healthy routine waking up earlier to achieve more during the day um meal prep on Sundays and stuff like that um exercise exercising three to four times a week and stuff like that it it takes it takes a lot of motivation and especially right now um with the gym clothes and not having access to anything to work out it's a little bit hard but i really need to find another way to just do home workouts and stuff and really get my myself back to where i used to be to be healthy again how often do you buy clothes too damn many times what is your favorite holiday my birthday oh and christmas i'm such a christmas girl oh no and halloween yeah those are my three favorite holidays what three items would you take with you on a digital island um a book a water bottle and a dildo are you related or dest distantly related to anyone famous i don't think so but i like to say that i'm kind of related to beyonce because um well my alter ego is beyonce de la ghetto i mean if Beyonce can have such a fears, then I can be Beyonce de la ghetto. Thank you. What celebrity would you like to meet at a Starbucks for a cup of coffee? Well, I don't drink coffee and I don't really do Starbucks, but I would definitely love to meet Matt Kent because he needs to know that he is the love of my life and that we're married and then we have triplets. And um, yes, I am very mentally stable. Thank you for asking. I mean, a lot of actors ended up marrying their celebrity crush when they were younger. Look at Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes. Okay, that was not really a good example because they ended up divorced and Tom is kind of wacko with this whole science church. But you know what I mean? It can happen. I have his face on my vision board. It's gonna happen. Instead of one to 10, how funny you think you say you are? I've heard a lot of people saying that I'm funny, but I don't know if they're trying to be nice or they actually mean it. But I do think that I'm a little funny, so I'm gonna say a good 6.5 out of 10 that I'm funny. Do you see yourself in 10 years? Girl, I don't even know what I'm gonna do tomorrow. You wanna know what I'm gonna do in 10 years? Um, well, in 10 years, I'll be 40 because I turned 30 today. <laughs> I know. So by then I wish I would be happily married um with a successful career that I enjoy and um with triplets. I know I'm going to have three kids, okay? I'd rather have triplets being pregnant just once and being done with it. Because I've seen my cousin giving birth and that shit traumatized me for the rest of my life. So yeah, just one pregnancy for me. I know I want three kids, one pregnancy, triplets. It is what it is. We have on this very, very long list here is going to be... What is one thing you will never do again? Probably this video. It took me too damn long to answer all those questions. All right, so that was it for my get to know me tag. I hope you enjoyed this video and especially probably laughing at me answering those questions because girl, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little tipsy because I've been sipping champagne all day because it's my birthday. So <laughs> be nice in the comments. But yeah, so that was it for today's video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Doodles!